come to access the data. But we wanted to do this in ways that other researchers could go and replicate this and use the same data sources. And we also wanted to do something that uh, an engineer always called eating your own dog food. Right? So we wanted to actually go and look at the system that we were working in and see if we can actually research this. We found some really interesting problems. What we do is we basically take about 20 reputational block lists that people heard of ADLs or reputational block lists. These are the people that look at traffic on the internet, so be that DNS or other traffic forums, and reports of abuse and misuse, and put those into basically databases or feeds, and they then push the security products. You're all using this. If you use a browser, you are protected by reputation. You may not know it, but it's probably in there. Connected to a network, it's got a filtering system, a firewall, they're using RBLs or replacement boxes. There are hundreds of them. We picked roughly 20 that met certain criteria, such as you have to be able to get off of them, they have to be transparent in how they work, etc. And we're basically looking at um, phishing, malware distribution points, botnet only control points and uh, spam. And from sp when we talk about spam, we're not talking about the uh, email headers of where it came from, but we're actually talking about the landing points of where the spam is sending you. So if you're being fished or, or as soon as sending you a spam, they're sending you somewhere where it is. What's the name it's using? So this allows us to look across the ecosystem, look at the different top-level domains, top-level domains, people like .com, .org,